Okay, so um, comparing quantities using ratios. So as we've covered in the past, hopefully you remember, a ratio is um, something like that, and we would say 3 to 2. That means for every three parts of this, um, you have two parts of this. Um, so it could be anything. One of the examples we've used in class is just um, different colored buttons or something. So if you've got um, three white and two black, then you can see hopefully that the ratio there of white to black is three to two. Uh, now, just as a little reminder, you can also, of course, get the same ratio when you are talking about lots more. One, two, three. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four black, and the rest, which is six, are white. So we've got six to four. Now, you can split that, and we can see that if we look at just this part, the ratio of white to black is three to two. And if we look at just this part, the ratio is of white to black is three to two. So this is still in the same ratio of three to two. There's just... Um, We've just got to simplify this version because we've got it six parts to four parts. So what we do is find a common factor, so a number that goes into both the numbers, and they're both even, so let's go with two. Divide by two, divide by two, we've got three to two. So that is your uh, ratio and simplifying your ratio, which was a previous um, topic. Um, We've also covered sharing in a ratio. I don't know if you remember it, but uh, by all means, go back and have a look at that. Um, but what we can use for that is boxes. I know they're 2D, so they're not really boxes, but there you go, little squares. What we're saying is there's three of these and two of these. Okay, so regardless of how much each part is, you'll notice that word keeps coming up, part. We use that a lot. Um, no matter how much each part is, they are all the same, okay? So each part could be one, like the first example we gave. So there's just three of whatever these are, the white ones, and then two of the black ones. Um, but that could be any amount. That could be uh, nine in each. Nine in each. Um, so then there would be 27 white and there would be 18 black. Um, but ignoring those numbers, because that's more for sharing in a ratio, we don't need to know the size of these boxes, the actual quantity in each, um, to talk about proportion, to talk about fractions. What we're talking about, right, well, there's three parts here, and there are two parts here. Now, as you know, a fraction, the denominator is the number of equal parts. And by definition, these parts must be equal. Otherwise, this is not a ratio. This is not correct. So we can first always think about the denominator first. I think that's easier. Um, so it's out of five. Now, if you wanted to know the fractions that are white, well, there's one, two, three, so it's three-fifths, and that's correct. There's three of them, and there's five equal parts in total. If we wanted to do black, well, the denominator is going to be the same because it's still out of five, um, but there are only two black, so it's two-fifths. So the proportion that are white are three-fifths, and the proportion that are black are two-fifths. Um, now, you may, well, you do have in your questions, um, where this isn't going to be three, you're going to have to do lots of simplifying. So, if we go to a more wordy question, um, uh, it's usually a recipe, well not usually, but often a recipe, um, we may say, right, we need 33 grams of uh, flour, um, 21 grams of uh, sugar, wow, it's a lot of sugar. Mm. Four teaspoons? Okay, maybe not that much. Um, but relative to flour, it's a lot. Um, and then, say, lots of uh, milk. I don't know what we're making here. Water, probably. Uh, 63 grams of water. So we can put that in the ratio of 33 to 21 to 63, um, which is great. And then hopefully you can see, right, well, in order to work out a fraction, first of all, we need that denominator, and that's... I can't say it's a key bit, they're both key bits, but what we're going to do is add up the total parts. So 33 add 21, 54 uh, plus 63, so it's 50, uh, sorry, big one, yeah, 57, 117. 
good. And then if we wanted to know the fraction that are flour, it'll be 33. Uh, if we wanted to know sugar, it's 21 over 117. And then water is 63 over uh, 117. Now what I've done there is I've chosen these numbers so they divide by three so I can simplify, but I don't reckon 117 is gonna simplify at all. But this is what you're gonna be faced with. If you've got the answer, that's brilliant. 33 over 117 is correct, fully correct. But the question asks for a simplified answer. So we've also done that in recent weeks on Hegarty Maths. So if you're not sure about simplifying fractions or indeed simplifying ratios, because it's much the same, um, then you need to go back over that. But I'm just gonna look for a common factor and I suspect 117 is prime, which is a bit of a nuisance. Let's see if it divides by three. Oh, it does. Oh, well, that's a bit of luck. Well, of course it does. These are all multiples of three. Whoops, Mr. Scudamore. Uh, good. So what I'm going to do is divide top and bottom, the numerator and denominator, by three. So that gives me 11 over, and I might want to work that out in bus stop, 117 divided by three. <clears throat> Excuse me, I beg your pardon. It is 39. So that's 11 over 39. 11 is prime and 11 doesn't go into 39. So we can we know that's fully simplified. So that's all you have to do um, is firstly, think about the total number of parts and that will be the denominator. Then the number of parts that you are interested in, um, that will be the numerator, but it does always ask for a simplified answer. Um, just be careful as well. I noticed one of the questions um, although it's got three ingredients, it asks you for the ratio of just two of them. So you just be careful you're reading the right question. Oh, that's the wrong. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Well, for example, if it was this one, I think it, it, it's similar to this. It says flour is so many grams. Out of 100 grams total, um, you've got 33 grams flour, something of water, and the rest is sugar. And it wants the ratio of sugar to, say, water. So you don't want all, th oh, sorry, the fraction. No, you want the ratio. So you don't need to include the rest of them, but you will, of course, need them to work out how much sugar is, whatever the missing quantity is. Um, but I think that's about it. And that is uh, representing proportion or comparing quantities using ratios. Good luck.